So with the introduction of Newcastle, we could potentially be seeing a new meta. It honestly just depends on how well Newcastle settles into the game. But here are a few early tips and tricks to use while using Newcastle. Also, I want to thank you guys for supporting this channel so much. And because of that, I want to go ahead and give away two battle passes for you guys. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. And I will randomly select two of you in order to win a battle pass. It doesn't matter what platform you're on. You can be on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, or PC. It doesn't matter. I'll be giving away a battle pass for eating one of those platforms. But let's go ahead and get into the video. So for tip number one, I have to give credit to Odo as I believe he is the first one to figure this out. And what he found is that if you drop your knockdown shield while reviving, you can get a near silent revive. It, it makes no noise. So I think there's like, there's like a strat. There's like a strat. Look, if I grabbed a gold, look how much it's slot, yeah. right? So I can just drop my thing. Let's get you Wait a minute, that's, that's not quiet. It makes no noise. This, if this is true, that's dead a strat. Silence, that's like a big the dead silent perk for reviving in the Apex poggers. This could be useful in a third party situation if another team is pushing. Maybe they don't realize that you're reviving. Just be careful because if you catch you with your shield down, then you're going to get fried. But the next tip, you want to make sure that you're prioritizing giving Newcastle the best knockdown shield and the gold backpack. Newcastle will likely be the legend that will be doing most of your reviving, and since he is also the only legend that has a knockdown shield to deploy while reviving, you want him to have the greatest chances of surviving while doing that, and then that way when he pulls off the res, that way he's also giving you additional health upon reviving. So don't be stingy and make sure you give him those items for your best chances. Next, let's talk about Newcastle's tactical. His tactical is a throwable that allows him to create a shield out in the open. It has two structures to it. The bottom part is indestructible and the top part can be destroyed, which is also the very largest part of the shield. Also when throwing this, I noticed that it goes further than where I'm actually aiming it. So be careful about that. If you're wondering why this shield could possibly be more useful than Gibby's, it's for the fact that you can also reposition this, which is why it's not entirely enclosed like Gibby's. Simply push your tactical button again while looking in another direction that the shield already isn't and it'll go towards that direction. So don't expect it to cover you if you're going to go on a full on sprint and position it at the same time as you're probably going to outspeed it. Another thing that's really useful for this is that you can create your own little peaks. If you're in the middle of a fight, you can use it and use the corner of it as a little right hand peak. You peek out pop shots at enemies. This is what I found to be really useful with the shield. It's also really good while covering your back while trying to get a revive off or to simply cover another angle that could be harmful for you. Lastly, for his ultimate, I believe the distance that it can go is roughly 30 meters if you're not locked onto a teammate. If you lock onto one of your teammates, you can go as far as 70 meters that I understand. So when flying towards a teammate, it'll always face forward. But one thing that I noticed is if you're trying to escape and you need to get to your teammates, you can actually turn mid-flight while locking onto your teammate. So for this, just lock onto your teammate as you would as usual and simply just turn around while you're mid-air and the barrier will face the opposite direction. There's something as simple as this could prevent you from getting shot in your back while trying to get to your teammates and repositioning. Also, one thing that I really like about his ultimate is the fact that you can create your own little peaks as each of the walls on his barrier have their own health. Just like Rampart's walls, you can also dismantle yours. For this, simply look at one of the walls that you want to disappear. Afterwards, press whichever keybind it tells you to in order to make the wall disappear. For me, that would be H. And as you can see right here, I'm able to create this little peak right here through my barrier without having to always stand up. That way, it kind of prevents me from being as predictable. Lastly, you can make height plays with his ultimate as well. Here's a clip of Noko using it to get to his teammates from all the way on low ground on Storm Point. As you can see, he was caught in a pretty bad position and was able to use his ultimate in order to launch to his teammates. And even if you don't have a teammate to launch to, you can look at a high position and still launch to it solo by yourself. Last little feature I want to talk about with his ultimate is the electrical barrier that is on it. If an enemy gets too close to the wall, it will stun him kind of like walking into Watson's fences. I think this is really useful for his ultimate as it would help deter people from pushing you as freely as they think they could. As it's just a wall that someone could just easily climb over or just walk up to and shoot you. But if you get too close to it while the electrical barrier is up, it will slow you down. Granted, this barrier does not last forever. So just be conscious of if it's up or not. Anyway, there's a few early tips on how to use Newcastle. I'm sure as time goes on, we will learn a few more things about him. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to come back and see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications that we get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.